over the past couple of decades, we've put way too much emphasis in our culture on intelligence, on IQ, as the one thing that kids need to succeed. And I think that, what's that w what that has done for, for schools and for families is it's taken away the focus from a whole other set of skills, um, which some people call character strengths, some people call non-cognitive skills. Uh, and those skills, what we're now discovering through research in a lot of different fields, is that those skills actually matter a huge amount. Things like grit and curiosity, conscientiousness, optimism, um, self-control, all of these skills have a huge impact on how well kids do. We're just starting to understand exactly um, what a big role they play. Most parents just have a sense of how well their kids are doing, what they're struggling with. Uh, but but I, a lot of where I'm trying to push parents and where I'm trying to push myself as a parent is to think about success in a more long-term kind of way. Um, I think that, that especially when we get very focused on you know, test scores and immediate grades, we just think that, that those are the only way to measure how well kids are doing. Um, where, and, and I think the effect that that has is it takes our eye off long-term success. And in many cases, what kids need in order to get to long-term success is to have some struggle, you know, to go through, to try some things that they can't do at first, um, to really struggle through things. And I think a lot of us, especially in our culture, we get very anxious about the idea of struggle um, and watching your kids struggle is very painful sometimes. Um, and s and, and uh, when we're defining success as, as short-term, um, then, you know, struggle is not, they're not being successful at that moment. But if we can think a little bit more long-term, it turns out that struggle is actually deeply useful in terms of developing the kind of character strengths that are going to help children succeed in, in the long run. Right. thing that I spend a lot of time writing about and reporting on is the imp impact that stress can have on kids, uh, and especially in the early stages of their development, really, but really all through childhood. And, um, and it's huge. You know, we now understand much better than we used to the way that stress in childhood affects kids on a biological level, on a neurological level. We can see the way that it changes um, your cortisol levels and your, 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 the development of different parts of your brain if you experience a lot of stress as a child. And mindfulness, I think, is a great technique to help kids deal with stress. Um, and and I, the research that I've seen around mindfulness uh, says that it definitely plays a role in um, helping kids deal with stress. And w what we want, obviously, is fi to find ways to protect kids from that kind of toxic stress, get them out of environments, improve their environments so that they're not going to be around toxic stress. Uh, but that's not always possible, and, and so giving them coping mechanisms is um, another really important strategy, giving them ways to understand what's going on inside them, to think through the, the kind of um, the manifestations of stress, you know, being unable to concentrate, being feeling angry, feeling scattered. When, as a child, you understand that, uh, what's going on in yourself, and you can see it as part of a process that... that um, you know, is, is very much affected by your environment. I think it helps children deal with it. It, it lets them sort of separate themselves a little bit from the immediate stress that they're feeling. Uh, and so I, I think when, when kids can get that kind of help, I think it can make a huge difference. And I think it's also true for parents, you know, so, so parenting is a very stressful um, job for any parent, but I think especially for parents who are uh, dealing with poverty, who are dealing with um, external stresses in their life. And so to give them the tool of saying, like, here's how you can remove yourself a little bit from the situation, have a little bit more context, a little bit more perspective on what's going on in your brain and in your body, uh, that's incredibly valuable for parents as well.